all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so here's a video that i put together that i think most of you if not all of you will find interesting now as i mentioned in my last video uh, uh the uh issues the problems that we're having with our borders okay and the uh, uh the crazy amount of migrants that are uh, crossing our borders illegally okay now i mentioned that in my last video in uh today's video i want to put up a uh I'll give you guys a uh, link that i want you guys to check out it's called the Clarion Project, okay? This is a, uh, a news outlet that my brother, who's in the military, put me on to. Uh, they pretty much, uh, they keep up on what... Uh, uh, extremist groups are uh, up to okay it's very informative dealing with these knuckleheads okay and uh, listen I think it's important that you uh, all of you keep in mind that uh, our country is a target the USA is a major target okay and we have these knuckleheads sleeper cells whatever you want to call it right here with us okay now uh, the ideal that uh, the Long Island fraud it is I mentioned in my last video that POS who, uh, unfortunately, a judge dropped the charges on that a-ho. And I, as I uh, mentioned in my last video, uh, that shit just gives uh, this a-ho frauditor a boost in confidence to continue his BS, right? Now, why I found the video interesting, because, he, again, uh, if you guys, some of you, I'm going to take a good guess, so most of you saw the video, but for those of you that didn't, the a-ho from Long Island, New York, goes all the way to San Antonio, Texas, where a uh, uh, location over there where migrants are being held up at, right? I can only imagine they're being held there until uh, San Antonio, Texas figures out what to do with them, okay? Now, uh, what, what to me proves that the Long Island fraud is just another POS that's just looking to uh, make uh, belittle our law enforcement officers. As I mentioned in most of my videos, all of the fraud it is, all they're doing, all they are doing is turning people against our law enforcement officers, okay? As we all know, the majority of them are all ex-convicts, okay? They're holding a grudge right from the get-go. They've, uh, like Long Island Fraud, who did six out of seven years that he uh, for, he got for armed robbery, got an ass whipping in there. They beat him down. They beat him down seriously at that, okay? Tried to sue the prison, and that didn't go the way he wanted. So in my opinion, he's always had a grudge for law enforcement, for getting locked up, okay? And, um... Let's just say, okay, uh, after watching fraud of the videos, oh, shit, hey, I, I can go screw with the cops for the shit that I've uh, pissed off at what life threw at him. And now he realizes that there are people that are stupid enough to send them crazy amount of money as long as he continues to uh, uh, belittle and talk shit to our law enforcement officers. Now, again, as I was saying in uh, the beginning of the video here, the idea that he went from Long Island, New York to San Antonio, Texas, this to me proves what his actions was, right? Uh, listening to his intro, okay? I'm going to go into this parking lot if you guys are, are not keeping up with what's going on in San Antonio, Texas, uh, such as a bunch of other states too, okay? Uh, San Antonio, Texas, got it's like a gigantic parking lot where the migrants are being held at. And again, in my opinion, in San Antonio is just trying to figure out what to do with them, okay? Now, uh, the AHO. He's going to go into this parking lot, and again, before the video, his intro, I should I say, uh, I'm going to go into this parking lot, has no business there, it has nothing to do with the migrants, he, he doesn't give a damn about what's going on with the migrants, all he wants to do is go in there because it's a tax-funded location, and he knows, you know, it's a migrant uh, little whatever you want to call it, holding spot, okay? He knows that's going to cause some confrontation with law enforcement, and he's correct on that. But this is what, to me, proves, okay? Because, again, uh, the uh, the link that I'm going to put in the video here for you guys to click on, it's called the Clarion Project again, and they uh, pretty much keep up with extremist groups. Uh, listen, I'm telling you, keep up on what's going on, guys. This is in our backyard. It is truly important, okay? Um, whatever, whatever. Some of you may just think I'm overly dramatic or watching too much uh, uh, movies about terrorists or whatever. But I honestly believe that uh, 
we're going to get hit one more time, my opinion, okay? Uh, but these frauditors, their actions, like I mentioned in one uh, the video with the frauditor who was uh, frauditing at a refinery, these frauditors, come on now, they whether they know it or not, they're helping the terrorists use our own freedoms to hurt us, okay? So, again, uh, the idea that this knucklehead from Long Island went all the way to San Antonio, Texas. You didn't hear him tell his subscribers and in, in his intro nothing about, hey, I want to show you guys, look, I want to show you what's going on with the migrants, the, the problems that we're having with our borders. That would have made him look like a journalist. Uh, he likes to throw that shit out there that he's an, an investigative journalist, but yet the only thing he does is cause problems with law enforcement, okay? Always, always, nothing, nothing about giving important information like I, like I just mentioned right now, okay? We have problems with our borders. We have illegals coming in here, and again, you will see in this little quick clip of an individual that snuck into our country with the migrants, and over a little conversation, uh, another migrant asking him what's his name or whatever, uh, he got targeted by the FBI, and they come to find out that this guy is tied with a terrorist organization, okay? So again, I say, uh, you know, the Long Island Fronted who likes to say he's a journalist, bullshit, okay? Hey, you know, it, I would have gave him respect. Yo, this guy is talking about our borders. He's he's trying to give his uh, subscribers uh, information on what's going on with the migrants. You didn't hear that shit. You hear the same old bullshit. I'm gonna go where I'm gonna go into a location where I don't have nothing to do with, none of my business to be there. And if uh, if law enforcement kicks me out, eh, it's all about suing them, and they violated my rights and all this shit. The journalist, okay? This is a journalist. A journalism, I would think, is giving information that's important, but all he cares about, in my opinion is belittling our law enforcement. Let me show you that quick clip dealing with the terrorist, the uh, alleged terrorist uh, that the FBI put out there. I'm going to put the link. I want you to check it. And then uh, we'll jump into the video of the Long Island Fraud getting kicked out of a location he didn't have shit to do with. By the way, if you are smart enough, you will know who I am. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're going to know who I am. Very smart, by the way. If you are smart enough, you will know who I am. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're gonna know who I am. Very easy. Wow, very easy. <laughs> the, the entitlement, the entitlement. No, believe me, I'm much better than that. The entitlement, guys. Wow. <laughs>
All right, fellow Patriots, let's take a look around the facility here. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Yes. Okay, come over here. Who are you, sir? Hey, how are you? No, I don't need any help. Um, your names? I'll take your names. Okay. Why do I need to leave? It's private property. It's private property? Yes, sir. You're San Antonio police? Yes, sir. So you're patrolling private property? Me, Lisa. Are you are you patrolling private property, sir? That's what I'm saying. You're not though, right? This is this is city property, correct? Yep. Me, Lisa. This is taxpayer funded property, correct, sir? Yep. Me, right? Lisa. Okay, as long as we're, we're on the same page that it's taxpayer funded property, because it is. Yeah. Why would that be if this is taxpayer funded property, sir? May I get your name? Yes, sir, I already told you, sir. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What was it? Ramos? Yes, sir. And Perez? Yes, sir. 918 and 1164. Yeah. Like I said, this is city property, so we shouldn't have any issues here. I know you said it was private property, but it's not. Yeah, That's why you're San Antonio police and you're here. If it was private property, you would have no business to be here, right? But this is public property, yeah. sir. What does escort me out mean? Just out. Why so, can't I be here? But why is that? I want to know why. Come on, sir. Why is that? Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Right. Here you go. Can I speak to your supervisor, please, officer? Yes, I need to go. I need to take you out of here, okay, sir? But why is that? I'm not breaking any laws. This is public property. This is not a restricted area. Okay. All right. You not want him here? I would like to speak to a supervisor, please. Okay. Don't put okay. your hands on me, okay? Okay. I'm escorting you. Are you refusing to leave? I'm, Are you refusing to leave at this point, sir? Is that a lawful order you're giving me to leave? Yes. Right now, you, I am. All right. I'd like to speak to a supervisor. Okay. This is public property. I have every right to be here. I want to make it clear just for the federal lawsuit. If I don't leave, are you going to arrest me? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. It's a yes or no, sir. This is public property. You have no right to do this. Okay. I'd like to speak to your supervisor. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Hi, how are you? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Can you go to the other property, sir? Step outside, sir. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? It's right here, sir. Right here? Do you spell that R-I-T-E-W-R-I-G-H-T? How do you spell right here? Even in Texas, you have officers named right here, huh? Can I get your name and badge number, ma'am? Is it right here as well? Right there. Okay, so it's a little bit different than right here. It's right there. Got it. I want to, can you call a supervisor? I want you to call a supervisor. I want you to call a supervisor. Right. I'm not on. Are you refusing to leave the property? I am not on the property. At the end of the gate. I am not on the property. Okay. This is a public sidewalk. This is in line with the public sidewalk. I looked at the GIS surveys, so you can go ahead and arrest me. This is a public sidewalk. So go ahead and arrest me. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is a public sidewalk. I've already looked at the GIS surveys. Okay. So you can go ahead and then you could lose your qualified immunity and then I can hold you accountable in federal court. I've done it many times before, officer. I, I would okay. highly suggest you don't, you don't involve yourself in something that you, you're you not gonna win. You're not gonna win. Okay. 
I want to speak to your supervisor. As per your policy, you're to, you're to call your supervisor when a member of the public acts to speak to your supervisor, and I'm asking you to speak to your supervisor, sir. Okay. Can what you call you one? About eight minutes. Did you rounds? Is or did you call him? I didn't see you call anyone. Okay. This is not even restricted area. Oh, do I want to get unlawfully arrested in San Antonio today? Hmm. Really don't want to have my freedom taken away from me, but you guys are making it very difficult because you're not you're not allowing transparency and accountability in the First Amendment inside of a public, publicly funded area. All right, so think about what just came out of Sean's mouth that has uh, got me scratching my head now. <laughs> Hold on now. Because police won't let them roam around the parking lot, take pictures of the migrants that may be in those tents or whatsoever. Uh, let's, let's call it what it is. Exploit the migrants, okay? Uh, just because he can't roam around and poke jabs because I'm assuming uh, uh, migrants are going to be the same way uh, the migrants got on Eli about being recorded. Well, hey, he wants to get into a back and forth argument. Well, shit, you're a migrant. I'm a citizen and you're in a tax funded parking lot. I can record you, damn it. Uh, Again, I say, because police won't let this knucklehead roam around, exploit the migrants, get into a back-and-forth argument with uh, someone in there. Oh, police are not being transparent. Holy crap. This is publicly funded. This is a taxpayer-funded area. So I'm hoping if I speak to your supervisor, he will understand and he will prevent you from doing something you're going to regret. So if I go into the ta taxpayer funded property, sir, are you going to arrest me? I just need to know. Are you going to arrest me? Because I'm going to go over there then. Sir, you can't come in here, okay? By whose order? Your order? So you're not authorized to be in here, sir? How am I not authorized to be in here? This is not a restricted area. Okay, sir. Who's authorized to be in here? Isn't this a migrant resource center? Are you a migrant, sir? Do you Have you asked me if I'm a migrant or not? I just asked you, yeah. are you a migrant, sir? So I need resources, right? Okay, sir. So can I get resources? This is a migrant, this is funded by taxpayers, a migrant resource center. City of Antonio, San Antonio, excuse me. City Ta of San, San Antonio. Antonio sir. Yeah, okay. excuse me. City of San Antonio. Yes, sir. Migrant resource center, correct? That's what this is? This is a migrant resource center, sir. The si funded by the city, right? And the taxpayers? Okay, sir. Okay, so what's the issue? You can't come in here, sir. What are you hiding in there? I'm not hiding anything, sir. Obviously you are if you won't let me walk around. You're, you're obviously hiding something, right? You're hiding something. Okay, There's sir. something in there you don't want me to see. All right, so can you believe the bull crap that's coming out of this guy's mouth? He's going to tell police that they're hiding something from him because they won't let him roam around that park a lot and, and record the migrants as if they're some type of amusement for his subscribers, okay? Now, I cut the intro out, but let me tell you, I would have gave him respect or I would have even kept the intro on if he was to tell his subscribers, hey, I want to show you the living conditions. I want to interview a migrant or two uh, so that they, uh, you guys can get an idea of what they're going through and uh, I, I said it before, guys, I can't imagine what's going through their heads. All of these individuals are sneaking into the USA because they want to better their lives, okay? Unfortunately, in my opinion, I think they're going about it the wrong way, okay? I understand, you know, the paperwork and the red tape and so on. It, it, it takes so much time that sneaking in is the quickest way. And then hopefully, and I don't think a lot of them do it, they try to make themselves legal or whatever. But again, I say, uh, this so-called freedom fighter who likes to call himself a journalist, nothing like that came out of his mouth. What came out of his mouth to his subscribers, I'm going in this parking lot to ensure that the police respect my rights to record in public. Again, I say, I, I find it funny, the shit that comes out of his mouth, that police, because police won't let them roam around and exploit those migrants, they're hiding something from him. Holy damn crap, guys.
Is this your supervisor right here? Yes, sir. Can I speak to you, please? So we have four San Antonio police officers here protecting this migrant resource center from members of the public. I'm not exactly sure why. Hello? I think he said I could just go back in. Yeah, he did. He said okay, he sir. went like this. Don't put your hands on me. I'm sorry, I'm just giving you back, sir. Don't put your hands on me. Okay, sir. Don't put your hands on me. Okay, sir. De-escalate the situation. Don't put your I'm hands on me, all right? To You're not. Okay, sir. Hey, how you guys doing today? Are you are you gentlemen supervisors? I'm a supervisor. You're a supervisor in your name, sir? Sergeant what? Alanis. Alanis, Sergeant Alanis. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, um, I'm just... You can, well, uh, you have to go there. To, we'll switch out. So this is taxpayer-funded property, right? This is funded by taxpayers? You gotta hang, hang, hang a step back a little bit, sir. You can't be on public. I can't what? You can't be inside here, sir. Why, why would that be? Because you're not allowed to. Why am I not allowed? Sir, you got to step back. This is taxpayer-funded property, yes, sir. sir. You got to step back. You can't be on property. Sir, this is taxpayer-funded property. Okay. Why am I not allowed to come in here? Isn't this a migrant resource center, sir? You cannot come in here, sir. But why can I? Is it a restricted area? Yes. Where does it say that it's restricted? It doesn't say it's restricted anywhere. This is There's no gates or anything. This is open to the public. So I want to make it clear. Your officers already told me they wouldn't. They wouldn't answer the question. I want to make it clear. If I if I go on this property because this is, I want to make it clear. And your name was, sir? Detective Vasquez. Detective Vasquez. So, Sarge, I want to make this very clear. Yes, sir. You're because I just want you to. I, I want I want you to understand something. I'm an activist. This is what I do. I hold government accountable, and I, I've hold them accountable from New York City to a big government like New York City, and I'll hold San Antonio accountable. You're saying that if I go on taxpayer-funded property, you're going to arrest me. And I'm telling you, everybody else you've dealt with before me today, you've never met anybody like me because I will hold you accountable, Sergeant. So you're telling me this public property that's publicly accessible, I am not allowed to be here or you will arrest me, Sergeant? Sir, you can't get off property. Are you going to arrest me? I need to know if you're going to arrest me or not. How come these people are allowed in the property? How come she's allowed in the property? So I can go this way? No, you cannot. Why not? Because they are migrants that have come here and they have a brisk. Did you just check their? Yes, did I checked you che their rest, man. You oh, okay. So I would like to. I would like to apply for some services here, then, sir. Okay, just wait here, and we'll get somebody for you. Right. Okay. Sergeant, I need you to. Be, I want to be clear, Sergeant. Sergeant, I want to be clear. You need Sir, this is an entranceway. Stop. Come on, Sergeant, stop. Sergeant, stop. Sergeant, this is an entranceway. I'm not doing anything. Just, you need to de-escalate the situation. Sergeant, listen. Are you telling me, because I need to, this is my property. This is taxpayer-funded property, sir. Because I'm trying to have you hear me. This is taxpayer-funded property, sir. Why are you doing this? This is taxpayer-funded property. Are you telling me, all I need to know is, are you going to arrest me, Sergeant, if I go on taxpayer-funded property? I'm sorry? You can't come on property. On taxpayer funded public property, right? Come on property, sir. I would like to speak to your supervisor, Sergeant. You have somebody coming right now. This is ridiculous. What do you have to hide in here? What's wrong with me walking around on public property? This is public property, sir. Right now, I'm right in line with the with the sidewalk. You see the sidewalk here, sir? I'm right in line with the sidewalk. This is ridiculous. What are you hiding in here? It's just the Migrant Resource Center. What's the big deal? Or at least that's what it says. What it's supposed to be. So they have wristbands. 
So it's like a it's like a club, I guess. You get a wristband, ladies and gentlemen, and in that wristband, it's what gives you access to this property or not, huh? So if you're not a citizen, you can be on the property. Oh, I can't wait to litigate this with you in court. Cannot wait to litigate with the San Antonio Police Department and the city of San Antonio over this. This is ridiculous. So you're not a citizen, you have more rights on this property that's funded for that's funded by taxpayers than taxpayers do. Are you kidding me? That doesn't make any sense. Oh man, looks like we're gonna get arrested today. Number 10. Oh, I don't want to be arrested. Oh man, looks like we're gonna get arrested today. Number 10. Oh, I don't want to be arrested. <laughs>